I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Amazing Discoveries in Outer Space, aka Adios. I review copy of these games, provided to recharge by the developer. So this is a platformer-ish. It's like, kind of like one of those um, gravity-based. Uh, oh man, what is that famous one called? Is it just jetpack, or is that a different type of game? You, know, you, you can see here. So we we got some major gravity going on. We've got discoveries, we've got outer space, it's pretty much the whole package. Uh, so this game is currently only on PlayStation 4, I, I did not see particular evidence of other platforms. Uh, it's pretty common for games to come out PlayStation 4 first, then you know, other stuff. It starts off pretty easy, as you can see here. This game is a roguelike, uh, it's got some, well maybe roguelite, I mean it's got unlocks, it's got um, it's got um, some shortcuts. There's apparently three different game types. I've only unlocked one so far. I've played maybe about an hour of this. Um, one feature that is good but could use some work, there, there's this fast forward button, but as you can see, uh, sometimes you might want it a little bit faster. This, this solar system is kind of all right. There's some where it's pretty dang slow. Um, Slow enough that you'll want to waste some fuel unless you're, you know, really low on fuel. Um, so, main flow of the game is you just go around, find these planets. You need a certain amount of discovery points, which I've actually already gotten enough discovery points. Uh, it gets significantly harder once you're in the fourth system. Uh, the first couple are, you know, just warm-ups, which is why there's a skip to the fourth. I haven't gotten past the seventh world yet. As you can see here right now, you have three planets. One, where is, ah. There's this nice little indicator that shows when you're gonna impact with the planet. See, there we go. So now we can see that we'll impact with this planet. Oops, I actually adjusted a bit too much. Won't be fine. So, as you might expect, if you hit a planet too hard, it's gonna hurt a little bit, just a little bit. Oops. Um, you can actually survive one extremely high velocity impact and be okay. You'll take like, your first max speed collision will take off like 60% of your max health, which is more charitable than I was expecting, honestly. You'll usually run out of energy, not anything else, at least in my experience, that may just be how I play. But as you can see there, we, we can leave our ship. Certain discoveries require you to leave the ship and you know, use your little duder there to uh, interact with stuff. Other stuff has to be uh, done with the ship. Touching suns is bad. The sun will pretty much kill you. Okay. You want to adjust yourself a bit more before you uh, come to a planet. As you can see, we actually have stronger gravity because this is a bigger planet. Maybe just denser, but bigger too. And uh, we have some unlockables here. We, I, I'm not sure if I've unlocked all of the functional stuff. I actually, you start the game very basically. It's kind of like, well, not quite, but I mean, you know how Binding of Isaac, you know, unlocks stuff progressively and gets more difficult and all that stuff. Uh, this game sort of has, you know, it's a standardish roguelite um, progression curve where the game starts out pretty dang simple, and um, you eventually get the ability to leave the ship, which I have now. You get a jetpack, which I have. Get that tow rope, which I have. Uh, I'm not sure what else there is. I haven't uh, looked too much in this game beyond what I've played. Like I said about an hour. Um, that's pretty fun. It's not. Uh, I'm not super into the gravity deal, but this game is pretty chill and uh, pretty enjoyable. I. Uh, it's more about exploring than you know extreme hardcore um, maneuvering. Like you'll notice, I can kind of land just however. Oh, the aliens you need to see in person. Also, you can pilot the ship remotely, and then come pick your little duder up. Also, one funny thing, if a planet has low gravity, you'll spawn with the hat to uh, keep you on the planet when you jump. And you can actually force yourself to spawn with the, with the hat, because I mean, let's be real here, you want, you want a hat, don't you? There's different, oof. if you want to pick up stuff, you gotta throw away your hat. I, Pretty sure the character is just actually holding the hat, you're not wearing it. It's just, you know, 
their implementation of molding, but uh, that's fine. We can pretend we don't know that. This game is one of those surprisingly relaxing roguelikes, kind of like, um... Oh man, what is that poetic one? Um, Redem Resi? I can never remember because it's... What is that? I think it's Dutch or something? It's some tongue I dare not speaketh. Oh yeah, and there's, um... Uh, there must be some way to drill into stuff, because, like, there's objects inside that asteroid that I can't reach, uh, so that's something I just, a feature I just don't have access to quite yet. Like I said, I've only been playing about an hour. Can't quite get everything just yet. There's also a bunch of unlockable ships and, um, astronauts. I'm not sure if that's cosmetic or not, so I don't have them yet. I have a hat! Hats. It definitely does matter. Oop! So that was a pretty bad impact, but as you can see, we survive it. So as long as you're not, like, you get two, you get one free, completely stupid impact. The unfortunate thing is we're going to have to heal at some point or we won't survive another stupid impact. So this is area four, right? Yeah, this is level four. This is my least favorite area because there's no planets here. There's just floating space debris and we have to maneuver through all the debris which is either slow or extremely dangerous, or both. You kind of have to navigate at a higher zoom out and then correct yourself repeatedly. I... After we get past this, we get a bunch more planets. I'm... It seems like there's themes like the first area. Oh, good. Oh, good. Tons of these big crystals. I always saw them. Um, yeah, it seems like there's themes, kind of like, you know, well, most of the road lights have themes, like, you know, an area is procedurally generated, but, uh, dang it. Yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. Uh, so, like, level one and two are just plain old scout a single planet. Area 3 is like a few planets, this one's just space debris and I hate it. Um, after this, things pick up a bit. I actually found a secret, there's secret areas if you uh, locate a specific item. And just because there's planets doesn't mean there's not an asteroid field. Very low speed collisions do not take any damage at all, but uh, even at this speed that would probably have hurt if it hit. Probably should have taken a bit more distance there. But If you're extremely patient, you can save a fair amount of fuel here, but I... I am not a patient man. I, uh... do things a bit quickly. Oh, dang. That has a lot of juice in it. See, when you attach stuff with a wire, you can, uh, drain some juice. If it has it, there's only... Only certain objects have electrical power, of course. Also, since they haven't shut it off, our little duder has a jetpack too. Um, you only you borrow energy from your ship, so you can't do that forever. But um... oh, aliens! Ow! Ow! He hit me, mom! Alien bit me. See, our little duder has health too. Oh, there's hostile and non-hostile aliens. A aliens. You know what? I... I can't grab the non... I was gonna grab the hostile alien. No, get in! Okay. You can heal at the cost. You can heal either your ship while you're outside of the ship, or you can heal your person when you're inside of the ship. Both of them cost a little bit of your energy. So anything with those glowing yellow eyes, the sort of creepy hostile looking things, can hurt your little dooter. Nothing is instant fatal to your oh crap. Um, to your spaceman, to your doctor spaceman. Um, oh no. I, I want the I want the non-dangerous. You know what? What the? F okay. So there's asteroids that just I swear they just randomly spawn in on certain planets or something. Because I don't see them coming. They just happen. I'm not sure what that's all about. 
The camera zoom does not seem very intelligent sometimes. Like, sometimes I'll be fairly close to impacting a planet, and it's like, nah, I'm just gonna keep out the zoom. So, you can let the game auto zoom in and out. I personally prefer to manage it more directly. Whenever there's a little an, an arrow icon, that usually means you need to, uh, well, that means you need to be in the other form, you know? If you're in the ship, it means you need to get out. If you're out of the ship, it means you need to get in. So, like, certain stuff you can only scan or interact with, with the other thing. Like, I'm not sure what that- Oh! What? Okay, okay, that was bad. Okay. So, you want to plot a clear course when you're about to transport, because that can happen. this weird, like, I'm surprised I haven't seen a perspective like this, honestly, where you can see, like, the halves of the planet with the sunlight and stuff. That is a space station in there, which means that has energy. I don't know, I think it's a derelict, so I'm not sure if it has energy. Yeah, it's a derelict. Crap. Nope. No energy for me. Oh well. We're not doing too bad. We'll survive at least one more system, even if I'm really bad, which I am. You can look around, uh, maybe look around more subtly, but you can look around when you uh, can't see a planet. You can see pretty much the whole solar system, no matter how big it is. When you see that that line, uh, that means I'm actually going to be affected by the planet's gravity, so we're going to be pretty close. Wait, what the? Is there something I could have done? Huh. I'm not sure what that wants me to do. Um, maybe I can do something with that now that I have the jetpack? Oh, an interesting thing about this game, this game does not let your, um, your pilot die, like, immediately from anything. If you land on spikes, you take, like, an instant 50 damage. And then you slowly take, like, one damage per second. So you just have to go and... Get your ship to rescue your guy. He doesn't, like, die instantly. Unless, of course, your health is already low. Okay, we're gonna need to fix our ship in this next solar system here. I kind of forgot about that. So this is on par with my best run already. I, uh... I haven't done too much of this, but it's been it's been pretty fun. It's, like I said, it's, it's one of those oddly relaxing... Roguelikes, unlike Binding of Isaac. I love Binding, Binding of Isaac. It is it is not a relaxing game. There is no relaxation to be had there. So this is where I kind of wish there was even more levels of speed up. It's not really too bad. Like, nothing is, like, insanely slow. Like, we don't have realistic planet speeds here, unfortunately. But, uh... I think that is an item. Um, one annoyance, unless I am wrong here. Uh, there's there's no menu in game. Um, I don't know where those asteroids come from. Oh, it's a hat. Mass ampli amplification devices um, is what we call our hats. Oh, okay, it is space degree. Oh, wait. Oh, that thing fully restored the ship, or healed the ship. We are in super bad condition here. Oh crap. We basically want to, by chance... Oh, are you kidding? Get in the orbit of something. Okay. We just have to get lucky. I hope there's lots of energy on this planet. Ah. Those fossils are worth tons of exploration points. But. Oh wow, this planet has wind! That's a new one. I'm just gonna. Frick. Oh! That was fortuitous. Okay! That's. That's never happened before. I, uh. Oops! I actually want that hat. Odd job. Oh, I think it's because I threw a hat at somebody. Um, so that, that, an energy canister actually got blown into my ship by the high-speed winds. I, 
I don't think I'm supposed to be embedded in this world. shouldn't be fighting winds with my low. Oop. Energy. Oh. You can just walk through those gates. Oh, crap. I might have... I might have been able to get some stuff in prior runs, but I just assumed I couldn't. I guess those are caves, not things that you dig out. Excuse me. Uh-oh. No, I wanted to be friends! I don't think there's falling damage. Last words. Can I? Okay. I don't think that was my ship, so that's fine. Um, say hi to you. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. There's an energy thing right near my ship. I'm just gonna chill here for a second. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Okay, that's enough wind now. E excuse. Oh, excuse me. Ah, okay. So you can just walk into this. Okay. I feel stupid now. Alright, so. Pfft. I feel so sorry for those guys that are being crushed to death. Seriously, does weigh you down. So. I really need to scan this item without taking it out. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm I'm pretty sure I'm doomed. Oh, oh. No, blow this rock! Oh no! Oh no! We're not even going to reunite. We're dead. That was a pretty decent run, for me, anyway. Uh, let's see if we unlock anything, just in case. But otherwise, I think we'll... Oh, new record! I got a hat. Oh, high-quality hat there, yeah. Thanks. And you get nice little tutorials whenever you unlock a new feature, which I didn't do here. There's leaderboards and crap. Um, I guess these are scores like mine. Uh, Endeavor. I guess Endeavor is like a survival. Wait, is that ours? That must be... Ah. Uh, I don't... I don't intend to survive for hours, but whatever. So yeah, there's lots of high scory stuff. These are just the tutorials. The the game has a decent sense of humor in the tutorial. Let me show you. Um, let's do a quick. I guess I should have showed you this first. Let me do the first tutorial slash story intro. I mean, this is not really. It's not really a story based game, but you know, your ship crash lands. You gotta. For some reason, you have to scan stuff, which allows you to use your warp drive, which that makes sense. <laughs> Poor Zing. This is this is a universe where acronyms. Oops. Everything has to have an acronym. Up is always up. The controls are pretty easy, by the way. I. I hope it's fairly obvious. It's, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. Rude. Let's 
see it. One thing I really should have done in that prior run is allowed inertia to carry me a lot farther. I tend to be a bit more active than I probably need to be, but I'm not very patient. You can... The time speed up is a lot very useful for using inertia instead of thruster power, but uh, I'm not patient. Oh yeah, this game has um, a 30% launch discount on PlayStation Plus only for February, so I mean, not much longer, but uh, if you're interested, you can pick it up pretty cheap. I think it's $12 normally, it's like over like seven or eight dollars. I don't I don't math on the fly. I'm a programmer. I make computers do math for me. Yeah, that's basically your tutorial. There's there's not much dialogue or anything. Um, there's just a, some sense of humor in the tutorials is all that really amounts to. And you can see your little discoveries. As you can see, I haven't really discovered a super significant amount of stuff. So that's our baddie. I guess it's, I've only found one hostile life form so far. And some dead ones. Oh, and there's one cute little area I found. The first secret area I found, the only one I found so far. Um, it's like Mario pipe zone. So there's some, there's a bunch of different secret areas apparently. I've only found one. You find a sign and then your next warp goes to that area on the sign. So there's some neat stuff to discover. But yeah, this is Amazing Discoveries in Outer Space, or Adios. So PlayStation 4, I, I kind of assume it's coming to other platforms, but I, I don't know. I get, it's a pretty common thing for things to come out on PlayStation first, and then, you know, PC or maybe Xbox One afterwards. Pretty reasonable release strategy, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, release on the big one first to build up some hype, and then, you know, release everything later, you know drop the exclusive act. I'm, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen here. I don't have inside knowledge. I just know that's on PlayStation 4 right now. But yeah, 